What's going on, leaguers? Welcome to the Spectacular Spoiler League. I'm the Pandan Superman, the mayor of Hype City, Hazy Rome. And as always, I'm joined by the God of Night, the Prime Minister of Post Production, Deep Voice. And we are in the Hall of Spoilers today to talk about Arrow Season 6 predictions, baby. Mm. Bomb, bomb. Arrow Season 5 is in the book, Deep Voice. Yeah. We need to look towards the future. The the originator of the current CW verse. True. Arrow. True. And I gotta say, gotta hand it off. They came back. It was a rough season three. <laughs> but in a rough season four. Definitely. But season five, they, they got they got their th- they got their stuff together. So they stepped they up. They stepped up. And they ended it well. They stepped in. Ended it well. Yeah. Yeah, man. But I mean, I, let, let's get uh, let's start with where everybody else's mind is at. The last great season before season five was season two. Ooh. And why was season two so damn good? This because of Deathstroke, baby. your boy Slade Wilson. Uh, Slade Wil- Wilson I, played by Manu Bennett, man. He returned, <laughs> man. Season five. Thought, it was good to see I him. I thought you'd never come, kid. <laughs> that was the worst Slade Wilson. <laughs> you kidding me? That's, I sounded just like him. I scared myself right now. <laughs> I definitely wanted to pluck out one of your eyeballs after that one. That was bad, brother. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, Ali, in, uh, you know, recruiting Deathstroke to help him in taking down Prometheus, he kind of dangled a, a little Easter egg in front of us that could show some payoff in Season 6. And that is the location of his son, Joe Wilson, a.k.a. Jericho from the comics. Hmm. So Jericho has the ability, in the comics, he has the ability to possess anybody he looks or anybody he makes eye contact with. And, you know, I guess there's some type of uh, mind control abilities in there with uh, with uh, with Jericho. Now, for those of you who, you know, watch Lessons of Tomorrow and you saw the episode where there's kind of like a dystopian future star city with uh, Connor Hawk as, green, as the new Green Arrow and, you know, old man Oliver Queen... You're like, oh, so was Joe Wilson the uh, the son of Deathstroke that appeared in that episode? No, that was actually another one, another one. <laughs> that was another one <laughs> of Deathstroke's son by the name of sons by the name of Grant Wilson. Deathstroke has three kids in the comics, right? He's got Grant Wilson, he's got Joe Wilson, and he's got Rose Wilson. Mm. Going um, in. They, what'd you say? He's going in. Hey man, he don't know what a condom is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Essentially, in in the universe, he has two. He technically has two sons because you could argue that Grant Wilson was from like an alternate reality, yeah. okay? Because or an alternate timeline. So we don't know. We do know that Joe definitely exists. So the question is, what is the future for Deathstroke on Arrow? Will he come back in Arrow season six? Are we gonna see Jericho in season six? What's gonna happen there, man? Hmm. Well, Ali mentioned Slade Wilson's son, Jericho. Uh, we yes. haven't really seen anything about this character in the past, so it's clear that they have plans to involve him in something at some point in, in some time. Capacity. Obviously, what's difficult about it is Deathstroke is a big, if not the big, Teen Titans villain. Sure. So that is being made in whatever sort of proprietary streaming service that they're going to announce later on once the Titans show comes out. We don't know what the state of Deathstroke is going to be in there or any of his kids. So it's possible sure. that Deathstroke is the main villain in Titans, and he's not going to be an Arrow all that much. And maybe instead Jericho will be the villain, or he'll be someone that just kind of comes in uh, maybe as an anti-hero, maybe even as a good guy. We don't exactly what know. What if he's the new Deathstroke? He could be, yeah, he could literally be the new Deathstroke. Uh, they really, the, like, the options are kind of open for the team at the Arrow Riders to really kind of play around with this. Whether they want to go with the traditional Jericho, who I don't know, I don't know if you know Team Arrow is going to be able to fight against this guy who has like a who can fly and can has yeah. like telekinetic powers and that kind of stuff, or if they're going to do again some sort of revision like they did with Grant Wilson in the future, who was just literally Deathstroke sure. yet again. I don't think Arrow. The thing about it is, I think I'm not saying Arrow's never going to feature another meta again. Mm-hmm. But I think with season five, one of the things that they want to go back to was the kind of the more grounded uh, approach to Arrow, which is, 
you know, not having superpowers be like kind of like the future. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one thing that they took issue with with Damian Dark. Yeah. And this was to me, this wasn't the problem with Damian Damian Dark, but they kind of didn't want to go the uh, supernatural route or the yeah. the meta route mm -hmm. with uh, another one of their big bads. Yeah. So I do think that if they do show Jericho, he's probably not gonna be like the mind control power Jericho. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more likely you may see him as like you know the future Deathstroke or you know for example Grant Wilson, uh, the other son of Deathstroke, actually takes on the identity of Ravager, mm -hmm. who technically we already did see in Arrow yeah. uh, when Isabel Rochev in uh, season two took on that sure. essentially took on that uh, identity. But I think we're more likely to see a Jericho without powers. Will he become a villain? I don't know. That's another story. Yeah, and and um, I just thought it might be possible, and <laughs> this may be kind of bad, but. Maybe we'll start to see, we'll learn about Jericho's history, since Oliver obviously mm. knows him, through sure. continued flashbacks in season six. That's a possibility. Yeah. Maybe that's a possibility. Um, but speaking of villains for our season six, man, we got some We got some villains that are kind of options for season six going forward. Yes. So let's start off with Vigilante. Vigilante was, you know, so they kind of use v Vigilante as a little bait and switch on the fans. Mm -hmm. So, in the comics, one of the, we know that Adrian Chase yeah. is one of the people who have taken on the uh, Vigilante uh, identity. Yeah. So, when we saw Adrian, Adrian Chase as a, as a DA, we assumed that he was going to be Vigilante, but they did a little switcheroo on mm -hmm. us, and they had Adrian Chase turn out to be Prometheus. Mm -hmm. That being said, there are mad people who <laughs> have taken on the uh the vigilante persona in the comics man i mean we've got you know I, in addition to adrian trace there's alan wells dave winston uh justin powell pat pat trace uh dorian chase uh so there's been a lot of people who have taken on the the vigilante mantle and it's you know it's possible that we can still see him return that being said i don't know what capacity he's going to return in i don't think he's going to be the big bad per se but he could be a part of the bigger picture of another villain from season five who kind of didn't get fleshed out and that's helix hmm. so felicity was out here being a dumbass <laughs> uh messing around I mean, with a hack I mean, activist group I mean, what's near oh <laughs> <laughs> the alicity fans out here man they got pitchforks they coming they stand outside the hall of spoilers man they coming for our heads right now but uh <laughs> Felicity was working with a hacktivist organization by the name of Helix. She's working with fine ass Alina. She was fine. Mm. Uh, who goes by the name Kojo Sle Sledgehammer? That's her. <laughs> that's her porn star alias. I mean, that's her hacker alias. Uh, Kojo Sledgehammer. Um, so she, they basically kind of left that storyline, uh, you know, hanging that story thread hanging. Yeah. Uh, once Helix freed Caden James. So this Caden James character is supposedly this dangerous hacker. This. You know, Lila, who's the head of Argus, did not want him freed. She was pretty pissed off that she basically was super against, you know, the Arrow team, and she, you know, or at least Felicity's endeavors or Helix's endeavors to free Caden James. Mm -hmm. And they never showed his face, yeah. and that's important, okay? Because they centered an episode around freeing a man, freeing a man who, by the way, Caden James could also be an alias. We don't even know. For all we know, that could be a different DC character, uh, who just goes by the alias Caden James. We don't know. But they never show his face, and yet they have a whole a whole episode revolving around him being kidnapped or or freed from Argus, and then Helix just vanishing into thin air. That is definitely something you're gonna see. It has to to have some type of payoff in season six, man. Yeah, it's pretty much it's a Chekhov's gun, with, definitely. which means they showed it, and it wasn't just for the sake of showing it. It was rather intentional, like Hazy said. Uh, we don't exactly, I mean, I didn't even think that maybe that was an alias because definitely they didn't show who that was and we don't know where yeah. that's going to go in season yeah. uh, season six. And sure. I mean, in terms of storylines, I mean, it, it's, again, a lot of options. It's really up in the air. Oliver Queen is still the mayor. I mean, the team is kind of together. We don't know, you know, what kind of threats they're going to throw at them. You know, if True. it's going to be another True. organization. I mean, you know, they, they, they kind of uh, dropped the ball with Hive. For example, mm. that was yeah, we, we were. I mean, we here we at the we here at the Hall of Spoilers. We were expecting Hive to be kind of like a threat, but it didn't quite play out that way. Nah, not at all. So maybe not at all. Maybe if not a team to go up against Team Arrow, maybe some sort of organization like you mentioned, like Helix. You know, maybe involving mm. Kate and James, or maybe they hire 
um, Jericho as a mercenary, much sure. like his father is hired as a, as a mercenary or, or, or a hired gun, an assassin of sorts. True, true. Yeah. I mean, and to kind of add another layer to, to this aspect of the conversation, uh, Mark Guggenheim, okay, uh, he's basically uh, one of the one of the showrunners for, for Arrow and kind of like a big part of the, the Arrowverse. Mm-hmm. He sent out a tweet back on May 12, 2017. Yeah, I'm stalking. I'm Twitter stalking. <laughs> he says, okay, I admit it, the big bad for Arrow Season 6 is named Covenant. Ah. So it's possible, you know, speaking of aliases, it's it's possible that maybe Covenant is another name for Caden James. It's also possible that Covenant is the name of a group or an assemblage of people who, you know, uh wanna wanna come after Team Arrow. Now, you know, kind of a theory or a possibility I had for that was that, you know, if the government covenant is maybe a team based uh group that's uh coming after Team Arrow. Maybe you have some some pieces picked up from the villains that we already saw in season five. For example, maybe Vigilante plays into this group. Mm. Maybe uh, Alina, you know, Coach on Sledgehammer. <laughs> maybe she's in this group as well. You know, maybe Katie James is part of this group. Maybe Talia Al Ghul is in this group too. Uh, maybe Black Siren, who uh, Katie Cassidy is played by Katie Cassidy. She's confirmed to be a series regular mm. for Arrow season six. So maybe. She'll be part of this group, and if you listen to the the players that I've just named, you kind of have like kind of like an anti team arrow there, you know, like Talia Al Ghul. She trained Oliver, you know. Obviously, we don't know if she survived Leon Yu. I think she is. She's. I feel like there's too much of an important. I, for, for all intents and purposes, I think almost everybody <laughs> of importance is surviving that Leon Yu explosion. Hey, by the way, guys. even your boy Malcolm Merlin. Uh, even Malcolm I, Merlin, I feel like isn't really. I'm done, not bro. buying it. I, I'm not. He said he's done. I'm not buying. It. He's coming back at some point. Uh, and, and also, <laughs> you forgot to mention two other characters. Uh, and it's wholly from the Bratva. Exactly. That didn't end too well with Oliver there. I mean, just having. Right. I mean, you got to have a source for just you know uh, faceless goons to just come up there. So yeah. Team Arrow could just you know shoot them with the rubber bullets or whatever it is that they're doing out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I see Wild Dog firing off mad shots, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> You can't. You, those, those shots. Some of those shots got to be fatal, bro. Yeah, they got that Batman syndrome. <laughs> Batman, quote unquote, does not kill, but he hits yeah, people in like, his yo, car. Wait, I'm, I'm cool with paralyzing you from the neck down. <laughs> I won't kill you, but I'll paralyze you. And also, and also, uh, Artemis from this season. True. And she, she true, she's true, out true. there, and she still not entirely sure what her deal is, why she's yeah. so upset. But honestly, she's not that bad. I'm gonna. In my my opinion doesn't really bother me. I mean, though, though I think what you're alluding to, especially with Artemis, is that there's a bunch of characters who haven't had their their beef with Ali fully tied yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? Like Prometheus, Prometheus may be dead, but Talia Al Ghul was working with Prometheus. Her beef with Ali is definitely not settled, mm-hmm. even though she got to ask it by Nissa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Artemis definitely hasn't settled her beef. Black Siren, she's probably a character that you might see. Uh, you know, uh, there may be a redemption path for her being planned out. I don't know. But, you know, as it stands, she definitely still has her issues that need to be sorted out. Like I said, you still got Helix out there and Caden James and Vigilante. So there's, I think, I think Arrow season six has put itself in a good position to give us antagonists. It has no shortage of antagonists yeah. that they can give us. No, true. You know, it's just a matter of doing it well. True. Definitely agree. And I mean, we're looking, I mean, we have a lot of moving pieces here. Uh, sure. The more we talk about it, the more excited I get. And Indeed. more importantly, I would like for these villains to kind of really take Team Arrow and, and you know Oliver Queen into a different direction to kind of grow that character. Sure. I, I kind of would like to see Oliver you know, no longer really feeling sorry for himself and maybe having a mm. bit of an edge. Obviously, he's not going to go kill people, but having right. him just be a little bit more no-nonsense and just like, listen, we're taking these guys down. Right. Like, this is enough. Right. And, you know, speaking of him, you know, not feeling so bad about his past, I mean, I think Anatoly and the Bratva, I think that's a good potential path to to challenge him in that respect, because they are something from his his past that, you know, has become a, you know, can become a problem for him in season six. But he has to not let it, you know, beat himself up for it. Like, yo, this is all my fault, even though it is, Uh, (laughs) even though when they do come back, it is. And I think. You know, let's not forget about Anatoly, man. Like, Anatoly, he's had that slow burn because he's a, he's been around since, like, season one. 
So to have him come in there and be, you know, maybe not the main villain, but a, a, a significant one, I think then that could work well for him. I think that could, I think he has a lot there to give. And I think, you know, Arrow has done well with the villains who tie somehow into Oliver's past. You know, uh, you know, we had Deathstroke who basically had a two season burn before, you know, uh, reaching the culmination of his actions uh, when he tried to take down Star yeah. City. We had Prometheus who, you know, didn't get a build up in the previous seasons per se, but he tied into, you know, the beginning of Ar- of Oliver's crusade, which, you know, we had issues with watching Arrow like, yo, this dude is just killing people straight up. You know, we saw the repercussions of that manifest itself in the Prometheus character. And I think Anatoly is also another character that uh, has potential to be a dope villain just because he has a past history with uh, with Oliver. Yeah. Um. So that being said, man, I think on the villains front, Arrow season six has got it on lock. Um, as I said, in terms of the Leon Yu survivors, man, like. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna survive it. Maybe, maybe they go. They head to the prison, uh, the prison cell where Slade and Captain Boomerang were being kept. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, that was definitely that. That has to be like some type of reinforced prison cell. Mm-hmm. You know, Ar- it's an Argus facility essentially. I was so, gonna say maybe Argus, maybe Lila was able to pull some strings and you know, <laughs> save her not only her baby daddy but just the rest of his friends. You never know. I just, I just, I just don't think there's gonna be any major deaths. If there is gonna be a death. It might be William's mom. It might be Oliver's baby mama. Mm. Uh, maybe we get to see Oliver in a new role as a father in season true, six. True. Um, that being said, these shows haven't been the best with uh, child actors. <laughs> I don't necessarily need to see any father to son drama, like you know, kids throwing temper tantrums on Arrow. Yeah. So if you know we do see Ollie's father, that would definitely be a new wrinkle for his character because we've seen Ollie. As a vigilante, we've seen Oliver as a killer. We've seen Oliver as, you know, a, rede- uh, a he- hero trying to find redemption. We've seen him as mayor of uh, Star City. We have not yet seen him as a father. And that's, in a way, has been a Chekhov's gun in, in and of itself, yeah. you know, that since essentially early on in the show, we've always kind of seen the fact that uh, he's got a son out there. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe he has to take on the role of, role of a father. But, uh I don't know, Deep Boys. You got any predictions for season six, man, that we haven't talked about? I think that about covers it. I mean, yeah. uh, somehow these shows, uh, both Arrow and Flash, have kind of ended up with a lot of open opportunities, really. I mean, they can yeah, kind of go in any definitely. direction, which is which is great. Especially Arrow. I mean, this is going to be season six. It, it's probably going to get tougher and tougher to do storylines that they haven't already kind of done. Absolutely. So, no. Absolutely. With that being said, leaguers... Let us know what your hopes and dreams are for Arrow Season 6. Do you think that any of the villains we named or any of the antagonists we named could be main players in Season 6? Where do you think they're going to go with Oliver's character? Do you think everyone survived the explosions on Leon Yu? By the way, Prometheus went in with those <laughs> explosions. He was like, a pretty good villain I mean, right at the end. Especially. Yeah, he was, he was a pretty good villain. I was kind of happy with the way they ended it, too. Yeah. Like normally, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a proponent of killing villains because I like a rogues gallery. But he took it too far. <laughs> like either, either he had to die, or like there was not gonna be a a a path for him where he's like, oh yeah, you won Oliver and uh, let's move on. Nah, he he definitely had to go, and he went on his own terms, which I think was cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to season six. Um, they brought the show back for me. I mean, the show I think Arrow has been phenomenal in season five. Can't wait for season six. But we want to know what your predictions are. Join the spectacular Spoiler League in anticipating and hyping up Season 6 of Arrow. Let us know your thoughts and your predictions for the upcoming season. And by all means, hit the subscribe and officially join the Spectacular Spoiler League. We'll see you guys later. We're getting out of the hall of spoilers. Have a good one. Peace.